I attended the opening of the Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub in Sandy Springs, Georgia last month, November 2023. Uh, today is December 31st, 2023. And what you see behind me is Interstate 95 in Florence, South Carolina. This is a Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub at a Bucky's, one of four that all open today. The other three are in Dallas, Texas, Fort Valley, Georgia, and Daytona Beach, Florida. The indication is that there will be an additional 26 opening up in uh, the first part of 2024, as well as locations that are apparently all un already under construction at Simon Mall Properties. Let's go ahead and get plugged in and see how these babies work. Nice handles. Cable management system also. Obviously the uh, wrapping and branding on the chargers are pretty nice. I like to use my Apple wallet. Waiting on EV and charging. Off we go. Let's see how many kilowatts we get. These are able to dispense 400 because there are two power bricks assigned to each dispenser. So if there's two cars connected, each car can get up to 200 kilowatts. But if there's one car connected like now, conceivably I could get up to 400. Now, you need a specialty car in order to get to 400 kilowatts. Mine is just a Volvo XC40 recharge with a maximum throughput rate of about 155 kilowatts. I'm not going to make that here. Let's see. We are getting 121.8 kilowatts. Very, very good. All right, let's see if we can see the price. Okay, so it's 43 cents per kilowatt hour. And then they're gonna charge you $30 an hour as an idle fee. There's a 6% South Carolina tax, so an 8% tax total. So 8% tax with 43 cents per kilowatt hour. Not bad. All right, there's a pretty high fence around the power bricks and I can't see right now what the camera sees, but I'm assuming what we're looking at are six charge point express plus power bricks. Each one dispenses 200 kilowatts. Two power bricks are, spared, are paired to one dispenser offering combined 400 or split 200. So for some of the critiques concerning this site, the location in Sandy Springs, Georgia was their marquee location with an attached lounge and a very distinctive canopy over the charging stalls. I've charged at Bucky's before in inclement weather, and it's not a nice thing to see the gas cars having canopies and the electric vehicles do not. This location also has a 16 stall, four power brick Tesla supercharger, uh, which I'll put up here in a picture in picture. And those are going to open to non-Teslas in uh, a few months, uh, General Motors, Ford first, and additional uh, OEMs uh, shortly thereafter. But those two do not have canopies over them, uh, which is unfortunate. And the indication that we're getting, I've visited many of these sites, is that no canopies are going over the Mercedes-Benz charging hub locations at the Bucky's. Uh, that might be different uh, for the ones at Simon Malls. I'm not quite sure. I think it might be because the canopies need to be maintained. Uh, you know, there's like light bulbs, and um, if there's damage to them, they need to be repaired. And uh, at the gas station, there's actually regulations in order to uh, suppress fire in the event of petroleum uh, getting caught on fire. In electrical vehicle charging cells, there's no such requirements. It's just a nicety. And uh, because uh, the site host isn't going to offer to maintain the canopy and uh, replace light bulbs and uh, repair damage, things like that, that's probably the reason why they didn't do that here 
um, at these uh, site host locations, but perhaps at additional locations that Mercedes-Benz will put these uh, charging hubs into that will be native uh, Mercedes-Benz owned, similar to the headquarters in Sandy Springs, Georgia, there will, there will be canopies. A few other critiques, you'll notice that each of the spaces for charging stalls are pull in. There are no pull through spaces. I understand at some of the buckies, they're going to have one space that is of a deeper depth in order to accommodate the Mercedes um, Sprinter, e-Sprinter vans. Um, because actually this is probably it. Now that I'm looking at it, this is probably the space that is a little bit deeper in order to accommodate the uh, Sprinter van. I spoke to someone who was a part of the construction crew and he said there was gonna be one space at each location for it. It's not very deep, but perhaps if you needed a little bit more depth, you can get in there, but it's still not a pull through space, which is a detriment. Also, you'll notice that there are no garbage cans, no window squeegees, and we are a pretty good ways away. We are in the corner of the lot. And in order to get into the facility, it's probably, I don't know, maybe a five minute walk around the corner of the building and into the front door. So unlike the gas customers who just need to walk a little ways into the front, we're the redheaded stepchilds in the uh, back 40 of the uh, parking lot. Now, the nice thing about these locations is not only do we have state-of-the-art electric vehicle charging equipment able to dispense up to 400 kilowatts, of which even a specialty car nowadays can't really reach that, but they're future-proofed for the next decade of use. It's also on the property of uh, Bucky's, and if people are not familiar with Bucky's, it's uh, unique to the Southeast United States. It is just an incredible place. Their claim to fame is the largest convenience store on the planet. Every time they open a new Bucky's, it seems they eclipse the old record, which was previously held by them. So they just keep adding stores and keep adding more square footage to the new stores. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so I've got all the electricity I need in order to get back home. Just wanted to come here and do a quick site visit video of the station that opened. I saw it light up on plug share this morning and couldn't resist coming over to take a look. So I'm gonna disconnect. I've got all the energy I need to get back home. And let's see how it goes. All right, cables disconnected. Total of $7.51. Uh, 13 minutes, 28 seconds, and 16.163 kilowatt hours dispensed. Pretty sweet. So there you have it. Four sites opened all on the same day, expanding Mercedes-Benz's charging hub footprint. I'm here at the Bucky's in Florence, South Carolina. Thank you very much for watching.